Hey, Dr. Kevin Sarich here from AbundantU.com, and today we have another insane 20-minute HIIT workout on the bike. I'm gonna get you in the best shape of your life, and this workout starts now. All right, first things first, we're gonna jump on our bike. So we're just gonna do a light five minute warm up. Now, if you haven't already, before you jump on your bike, make sure you have it sized correctly and adjusted correctly for your height and weight, okay? So really important, you adjust the seat if necessary. And we're gonna just start pedaling. Put your feet in the pedal cage. If you have cycling shoes, that's even better, it gives you a good advantage. Now, today's workout's gonna be really intense, and we're just going out of low intensity right now. Okay, we're just warming our body up, we're getting our legs ready, we're getting our mindset right. So today we have eight rounds of 30 seconds of high intensity, rested or separated with rest of 90 seconds of recovery. So it's a one to three ratio. So 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off. Really important as you push yourself with each round, you keep the same level of intensity. So on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the highest level of intensity, we're trying to work our way to a nine or 10. Now, if you're new to HIIT workouts, new to cycling, that's okay to go at like a seven or a six during the HIIT segments. But eventually, over weeks, the months, to practice, you can push yourself further and further. The magic happens when you really push yourself at that nine to 10 high level intensity mark. Make sure you're well hydrated. Um, if you don't have some water, get, get a water bottle for you because we're gonna rehydrate during the workout as well. We're gonna start sweating bullets here. Now, really important, we're gonna stay in one position. Doesn't mean that you can't get up at times, from time to time if you need to stretch out your legs, but we're just gonna hold on to the handles like so. So whatever position you're in, you should not have stiff arm placement like this. I put my hands on the side like this, elbows slightly bent, my shoulders are back. I try to keep my chest open and my spine neutral. And what I'm gonna be doing is be pushing with my legs as hard as I can. Really important that you try to keep your heel, or your foot, I'm sorry, level with the ground. So you're gonna be pushing down with your heel and then pulling up, pushing down, pulling up. So it's not just all pushing down, push down, pull up. All right, that's gonna engage as much muscle activi activity in your legs as possible, as well as bracing your core. I try to keep my belly button to spine, belly button to spine. Deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, one of the most common questions I get is, well, what level of intensity am I using? Do you have a monitor here you know, to track your heart rate? Um, do you have a resistant knob? Make sure that when you're doing your HIIT segments, your resistant knob is just right. So, just like Goldilocks, <laughs> you don't want your resistance to be too hard so you can't even push, right? You can't even spin the fly, or you don't want it to be too low so your legs just spin automatically. So, we gotta find, so you don't wanna go too hard, I'm sorry, you don't wanna spin too fast, but you don't wanna spin too low. So you gotta play with your resistance. As you use your bike more often, you're gonna figure out what level you need to be at. Just remember, we're working our way to a level 10 max effort, so going as hard as we possibly can. So during our sprints, we're gonna definitely have higher resistance. During the rest periods, you're gonna lower the resistance level down. You're gonna take the time to catch your breath. Can't stress that enough. Two biggest mistakes doing HIIT workouts is you're not pushing yourself hard enough during the HIIT segment and you're not allowing for adequate rest and recovery so you can derive enough energy to push yourself just as hard as you did at round one. And remember, we're only doing eight rounds today. So get these legs warmed up. Should be feeling it. All right, a minute to blast off. And if you need to pause this, and you need a longer warm up, go ahead. You really have to customize this to your fitness routine. But remember, we're gonna stay in position one, so we're gonna be seated the whole time. We're gonna be pushing ourselves, driving as much energy, putting into our legs, bracing our core, breathing, really pushing, and then recovering. High intensity. 30 seconds till blast off. So 
So I'm at like a five out of 10 right now. I'm pushing myself, but not too much. Getting ready. Ten seconds. So get ready to increase that resistant knob or increase your intensity here. Three, two, one, go. One round down, guys. Lower the resistance. Down a little bit. Great. Should be feeling that in your legs. It will always burn. All right. 90 seconds, catch your breath. There's not a better workout on the planet when it comes to HIIT workouts. HIIT workouts are the most effective, at least for fat loss and weight loss. If you do this correctly, you shouldn't be able to talk during your rest periods. You need to focus on your breath. We're just pedaling forward, we're not pedaling backwards. All the magic with HIIT workouts come after the workout, it's the afterburn effect that we love so much. Keeps your metabolism revved up for the rest of your day. Actually helps convert your fat metabolism. So you actually start burning more fat instead of carbs. So turning you into a fat burner. We all want that. I right, get ready for round two. 10 seconds. Catch your breath, focus, get ready. To increase the resistance. Three, two, one. Go. All right, I know you're gonna be feeling that. If you're really pushing yourself 10 out of 10 or nine out of 10, these rounds aren't easy. Six to go. Catch your breath. All right. The resistant knob can be pretty sensitive on some bikes. You know, it just depends on the bike you're on. You gotta figure out what works for you. Just remember, you don't want to be spinning your wheels when you do these hit workouts. So you have, you have to have some pretty heavy resistance, but not too much where you can't turn the fly. Catch your breath. You can smile during this workout. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> 10 seconds. Increase that intensity. Three, two, one, go. All right, three down, five to go. You're in it. 
You're in it right now. You are so in it. Stretch out those legs if you need to. Going light here, remember, catch your breath. Save your energy for the sprint. Drink your water. Neutral spine, shoulders relax, driving through our legs, driving down, pulling up, driving down, pulling up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, go! All right, halfway done. You are in it. Don't quit now. You got four rounds to go. You got this. Modify the intensity if you have to, but try to keep it high. Work your way to that nine or level 10 output level. Push yourself here. Yeah, I love hit workouts. The rush of endorphins you get during and after, just amazing. You got this. Rest, catch your breath, 45 seconds. Keep those legs moving just enough. Moving through your nose, out through your mouth. Push all your energy in your legs. 10 seconds. Three. Two, one, go. Five down. This is where it starts to get real fun. <laughs> More challenging. Around this round five, six. Really feels like you're not gonna catch your breath. I promise, you will. If you're tracking your heart rate, it should be through the roof right now. Roughly 220 minus your age is roughly your max heart rate. We want our heart rate to go through the roof during the hit and then bring it back down as low as possible during our rest period and rank it, ramp it back up. You need to stretch your back, your arms, your legs a little bit. You need to stand up, go ahead, and then sit back down. Make sure you stay in position one when you do your hit. that we can focus most on your, your leg muscles. Keep that core tight. 
chest up, shoulders back, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three more rounds, that's nothing. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Two more, this is, this is it. I mean, two more laps, two more rounds. You got this. Whew. Remember, don't leave anything in the tank when you do hit workouts. Catch your breath, burst, sprint, push as hard as you possibly can. Now, if you're new, like I said, work your way up it doesn't matter where you are with your fitness level, you can modify this. Like I mentioned, going light and then going hard. But eventually, you wanna push yourself to your max capacity. You should be sweating. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Catching our breath. Let's get laser focused. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. One more round. Come on now. You got one more round in you. Do not give up. You're so close. You know what they call this last rep? They call it the transcending rep. Just when you want to stop, you do one more. One minute left. Right. Get laser focus. Push all your energy into your legs, brace your core, keep your spine neutral, chest up, and let it rip. 30 seconds. This one's for you, this round's for you. We're gonna see no mercy out there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. You did it, you did it. Cool down, cool down, cool down. Keep the feet moving. 
Keep the food move, feet moving. Keep it moving. You did it. Three minute cool down. Catch your breath, go light here. Let your heart rate come back down slowly. Pat yourself on the back. You did a great job today. What I love about hit workouts, they're time savers. So this workout should only be done two to three times a week with recommended at least 24 hours of rest in between hit, each hit workout. If you overtrain with hit workouts, you can have a negative stress response on the body and affect you adversely. We don't want you to get injured. Now relatively, bikes are the safest, but still, don't overdo it and get excited about your hit days. I know I do. Catch your breath. All right, 90 more seconds. Always want to cool down, rehydrate, stretch your legs out shower <laughs> and conquer the rest of your day. I prefer to do HIIT workouts first thing in the morning in a fasted state so your body pulls on its fat reserves and you burn more fat that way. Plus I just get you ready for the day, right? Shocks your metabolism, gets your nervous system going, gets the blood pumping. It's really good for the brain as well. So common mistakes while doing this workout, um, you're not having the bike set to your right size, so you gotta make sure you adjust your bike. I'll put a link in the description below of how to make sure that your bike is properly fitted for you. Um, you, you, know, you can use monitors, heart rate monitors, fitness trackers, speedometers, whatever you wanna do to see how fast you're going, how hard you're pushing yourself. I, I recommend that, it makes it more fun but just keep it simple. You're trying to push yourself to your highest intensity safely. <laughs> and you just do that for 20 minutes. You know, anywhere from 10 to 20, 10 to 30 minute workouts of HIIT workouts, and you're good for the week. All right, three, two, one, boom. Awesome job today, guys. You just completed an insane 20 minute HIIT fat burning workout on the bike. You better be sweating like I am if you did this. Now remember, you're gonna push yourself to that 10 out of 10 max effort because you wanna reap all the benefits that come with high intensity. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as comment below. Let me know what you think about it. What kind of future HIIT workouts would you like to see? As well as what's your favorite time to do a HIIT workout? And do you do it in a fasted state or not? Of always check out our website, AbundantU.com and Natural Health Made Easy blog or um, reach out to me personally at AskDrKevin.com or follow me on Instagram at AskDrKevin. I'm here to serve you and I'll see you in the next hit.